Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CaOH2 plus HNO2. This is calcium hydroxide. This is nitrous acid. It's a weak acid. So the first thing with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. What I see right off is that there's a nitrite ion here, and we have two of them here. So I'm going to put a 2 as my coefficient. That gives me two nitrites. Those are balanced. Now I have two hydrogens here and 2 times 1 two here. So four total hydrogens. Let's put a two here. That solves the hydrogens, two times one, two oxygens, two times one, and then we have a calcium and a calcium. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Calcium hydroxide isn't really soluble, but it is considered a strong base. So we're going to split this apart into its ions. Nitrous acid, it's a weak acid. It will dissolve, but it's not going to split apart into its ions because it's a weak acid, a weak electrolyte. Then we have calcium nitrite. That's going to dissolve. And water, which is a liquid. We won't split liquids apart either in our net ionic equation. So now we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Remember we said that HNO2, this nitrous acid, it's a weak acid. We're not going to split it apart. And the liquid water, we won't split that apart either. When we do this, we end up with, so this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. The only thing that I see that's on both sides here, that's going to be the calcium ion here in the reactants and in the products. That's a spectator ion, so we'll cross that out. Everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for calcium hydroxide plus nitrous acid. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for CaOH2 plus HNO2. Note that we have a 2 in front of everything, so we could just reduce that down to 1. And by convention, we don't write the 1. Note that the charge is conserved. We have a negative here in the reactants and a negative in the products. So charge is the same on both sides. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CaOH2 plus HNO3. Thanks for watching.